I mentioned in my last video saying that the little that the beach party episode of Zoe 101 was my favorite of series one mainly because I love the atmosphere of it and it felt that we I really tapped into how great these characters are the only reason I think Jax is my least favorite is probably because well I don't know maybe it felt a little bit hollow other than that if it wasn't that I'd say my least favorite was probably <sighs> the one with the play where Zoe has to play the alien but other than that I I really don't see much wrong with these ep with most with the episodes of series 1 and my second favorite episode of that series was the new roommates episode yeah <laughs> it's, it's funny it fleshed out Dana and Nicole and yeah it set the it certainly confirmed the rules of how the rest of the series was going to be okay that all out of the way let's go on to series two now a lot changed here you had more characters more story sadly Kristen Herrera wasn't invited back to play Dana which yes it was a massive shame as she was my favorite character and the standout of series one and but on the plus side they brought in Lola Martinez, played by Victoria Justice, a.k.a. Tori Vega. <laughs> and she was brilliant in the show. <clears throat> so, my favourite character now of the show... Hmm, I'm leaning more towards Chase now. Because, well, Series 1 established how he is the best of what he is. I recently found out the other day that Sean Flynn, the actor who plays Chase, is the grandson of Errol Flynn. You know, Robin Hood. <laughs> I like this. So, yeah, you brought in guest stars, like you had Jeanette McCurdy as Dustin's girlfriend. Whom, of course, went on to play Sam Puckett in uh, iCarly. Speaking of which, I have to say now that my least favourite character... ...is Dustin. I kind of felt that Dustin really didn't add much to this season which is kind of wayfish because he had a lot to quite a bit to offer in series one maybe because he had less storylines I don't know he's quite a good youtuber go follow him you know Paul Butcher uh, again the stories were fun exciting you had this time capsule episode where which led to what did zoe say about what in 2015 <laughs> so what was my favorite episode of series two that would have to be Girls will be boys. Yes, that I am of course referring to the episode where where Lola dresses up as Steve. And I kind of wish this per persona had stayed because I think it would have been hilarious as a concept. It certainly puts Logan in his place, which really didn't stop getting old. Although I, I really was not expecting him and Quinn. And I think I can say that for most of us. Uh, 
And sure, I would say that Survival of the Hottest was pretty much the original... Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. Boys will be... Girls will be boys was pretty much the original Survival of the Hottest. And... That's awesome. <clears throat> hmm. My other favourite episode, ironically the one after it, was Robot Wars. Many people have cited this to be the best episode of the show, and I can certainly see why. That episode was Quinn at her best. She... I love... What I love is about how... Quinn proves herself to the guys after they... cast her aside. And... <laughs> it's cool. Uh, the end bit with Nicole and the and the strange guy who <coughs> I really have nothing else to say. It's kind of hard for me to pick a a weaker episode of the series. I would probably say it would be if I had to pick one, it would be broadcast views, but that's just like the nitpicking. Plus, it just shows how how much of a dick Logan was. Now let us discuss Spring Breakup, the TV movie. My lord, this is a two-parter. I had n well, I had no idea what was coming. Uh, you had the classic send the text to the wrong person <gasps> and that just caused a complete meltdown. No one's got a fancy house. I wouldn't mind living in a house like that. And you have that gut punching moment at the end of the sh uh, at the end of the second part where he texts her, and then the tech mate falls in the in the in the fountain. That was I don't know. It's pretty uh, shocking to say the least. I mentioned before that Series 2 is my favourite series of the entire show. Now, pretty much detailed why. Ugh. It's a shame that Nicole never returned after the last second series. I'd rather not go into the specifics why. It's kind of sketchy, to say the least. In conclusion, Zoe 101 Series 2 was pretty flawless. It set up everything I wanted out of Nickelodeon. I love it. 10 out of 10. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you around for my review of Zoe 101 Series 3. And that's a long one, because... <sighs> guess I've got... Guess I'll have a lot to cover. Because there were so many episodes. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And have a good one. Peasonator out, cut the check.